Hello, welcome back to Gordon's channel. We've come to lesson 23 of our to-do list app series. And in this lesson, we are going to add the time to our full calendar. So first of all, this is what we will try to achieve after this lesson. So if we look into the full calendar, we can see that we start to have the time for each event. The time comes from the user input of time and is stored in our event data. So first of all, we will go to check the documentation. So for example, if we look at the September 9th documentation, and we can see that this event, we have a 4P here. So if we look into uh, the source code, we can see that it is added here in the start property. So after the date, have the capital letter T, and then the time. So this is how to add a time to a full Canada event. So let's try it on our uh, uh, project. So first of all, we will need to find out where we are adding the event to our Canada. And currently, we are adding it inside render rows. So in the render rows, we have accept a filtered array. And then we have uh, for each of the item in this array, we will add the event to the full Canada. And the object, we have the ID. We have the title and the start, and the start is currently only the date. So this is where we should uh, modify our code. So first of all, we will. Uh, it should be a string. So it should be a string containing the date, a capital letter T, and then the time. So we will uh, use. We can use the plus and then something and then plus something. But that's the pre uh, ES6 syntax. So in ES6, we have the string literal. So we can use two of this uh, symbol and then we can use the dollar sign square bracket dollar sign curly bracket capital T and then dollar sign uh, curly bracket and then now this is be the, the time and where do this time come from it should come from the array so in this array it will already have the time uh, property so we just destructure it from the array and then inside this scope we can have the time variable so let's save it and see what it loads so now after saving, we are successfully doing the time. So this time is based on the event. So this is how to uh, implement the time into our full calendar. And the next thing we want to do is introduce some uh, options. So we will need to uh, use a property. So let's check the uh, full calendar documentation and we should see uh, the event time format property. So this event time format is Customize when we use the new Canada. So when we initialize the Canada, we should uh, specify the event time format. So let's copy this event time format. Notice that it has camel case, the T and the F. So if we copy this one, including the colon, and then go to our code, so we should go to where we initialize the Canada inside init Canada. So the new full Canada, and then here after the event drop property, we add a comma. And then the new property event time format. So now we should be adding a object to it. And what objects we can add? So we can check what we want to add. For example, we can uh, omit the zero. So omit zero means omit zero means, for example, if we have a event, for example, a new event uh, on today, for example, today, and then for example, the time is. Uh, current time but it is zero zero so if we add it we can see that it is 12 p now so it said 12 p new but if we want this p uh, if we want to show the colon zero zero then we can go to here and add a property so here we can follow this one so when we saved it with our numeric minute two digit or miss zero two and Miriam narrow then it will after saving or miss zero two it will omit the zero and if say or miss zero false then it will show the zero zero minute so this is the or miss zero minute and for the meridian it is like this so now we have the uh, p here and we have two uh, also options for example we can use false if we use force here, then what will happen is the P got disappeared. And then we don't know this is morning field call 
or the afternoon three o'clock. So if we don't use the force, we can use narrow or short. So for example, if we use short here, if we save it, we can see that it becomes PM, uh, which is more uh, describing than just P. So this is if we want to keep it to 12 hour format, then we can use the meridian of uh, short. So it will be PM. And how about if we want to keep it not uh, 12 hour format, format, but 24 hour format, then we have to use a property called the uh, out 12 out 12 let's copy this and go to here and paste it here to replace the meridian so if we save it we can see that all the time changes it into the 24 hour format which is uh some people find this more comfortable so this is how to uh set the uh, time setting so uh, we have learned the start uh, the format and then we have the event time format, omissio minute, meridian, and the hour 12. So this is what we have learned today. And I hope you like this lesson. If so, please subscribe to my channel and show some support to me. And I hope look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.